2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are delighted to welcome you to this year's Q School Final. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. Luke, always a pleasure being alongside you. Looking forward to the action today. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. Oh, that was pure. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And gets that putt of distance to go. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Currently one under for the round. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously, might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score to this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. This one's going right at the pin here. That's inside the house of opportunity. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Looking good. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. He's currently tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt 24 feet from the cup. Right by the hole. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC Boston Rich. A great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Absolutely tattooed that drive. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a par four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Oh, so close. Ooh, good look at Birdie here. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And after a Birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a Birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Going with the seven. Not bad. 
Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Like the look of this one. That's very impressive. That hole looks double the size for this player this week. Leading by three strokes now. This hole is a par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out, bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. That should set up another chance. Setting up here with a very long putt. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This is what they have left for par. He's currently sitting in first place. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here, because birdies will be had by the big hitters. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by two. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Going to. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to five under. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left hand side sits much higher than the right hand side, and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. That's a little wayward. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. This sand shot awaits. Well... Out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. That'll sting a bit. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on. Currently a couple under for the round. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up here from about 165 yards. Hoping for a bounce here. Preferably to the left. 
Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Always great to be in the lead, Luke. There's no doubt about it, but let's face it. Lots of golf yet to be played. Let's see how this player handles it. That's some good golf right there. Sitting at three under par. Currently in the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Not taking enough club to get it there. Lovely touch. Well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Leading by a shot after that hole. Teeing off here at the 11th. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Seems like they've got an abundance of swing thoughts going on there. Perhaps paralysis by analysis. It may not seem like it, but I think he'll be happy with that from that lie. Oh, good chance this one, right on six feet. So far, so good. Ouch, that hurts. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. And coming off a double bogey, you'd imagine their head's down a bit. Time to just clear that from the mind. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. Opting for the five wood. Four left. Seemed to lose the handle on that shot. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Big pass over coming up for this fella. Good, this one. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Just one off the lead after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're going to have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Henny. What's the player facing here? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. And this part to move into a share of first place. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. He's in a share of third place. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. 
Par four, sweeping from right to left, down the hill. This is a challenging hole. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for third. Well, you like the look of those hands. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here. But be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Now, a little off the mark on that approach shot. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Wow, that almost went in the hole. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. Solid little par putt here. Okay, steady now. Just three feet to the cup. Some damage limitation. This one for a bogey. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Okay, that'll work. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. Well, oh, that's a nice line. Big putt for par coming up. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. He has this putt to save his par. Looking really good. What a putt to make. Well done. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. What an amazing putt from way out. So no movement on the leaderboard, remaining at even overall. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Boston could be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens.
what a shot. Almost went in the bucket. A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that signs off on today's round. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for the lead. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.